Because the report is that Tom Brady is looking towards 2023 and looking towards the possibility of playing in 2023 when his contract with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is up and he will be a free agent. And I know that the Bucks offense has not looked that potent, guys. I know it hasn't looked like it, it, it's like it looked uh, last year or the year before where Tom Brady was coming off a of 40 back uh, back to back 40 touchdown seasons. But Tom Brady right now is 3,500 yards, 17 touchdowns, five interceptions, not blowing it out of the water. But this offense has just looked like just just it, it, it just has not looked right all year. And I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's a confidence factor with Brady not having his security blanket in Gronk. Like, that's really the only thing that's changed in this offense, if we're being totally honest. Not much else has changed. So, if that is it, then, I mean, you could just get Gronk on the phone, but I doubt that's going to happen at this point, realistically. Anyway, but my point is, Tom Brady is looking to play in 2023, and... I think that sticking with the Bucks right now, unless they go on a miraculous run to the playoffs or, or run in the playoffs and go to a Super Bowl and win, I'm not sure he goes back to the Bucks. I think that looking at the landscape but how it is right now, there are two teams that I could see Tom Brady going to. That where I think he would improve the, the current quarterback situation and make a direct impact and help that team take a step forward. And this is not me saying that Tom Brady's going to go to these teams. First team I'm going to say is the New York football Jets. It is no surprise to anyone that Zach Wilson has struggled. This was one of the big knocks I had on him coming out when he was... Uh, going through the draft process. He's got a massive arm, throws the ball with all the velocity in the world. He just isn't experienced enough. The dude looked like a deer in the headlights in a lot of games. He And he just was not performing. You put Tom Brady in that situation with a team like the, the Jets, who are overperforming what people expected. They're seven and six. At one point, they were seven and four to start the year. Their defense is playing really good football. Robert Sala's got uh, whipped those boys into shape. I can see Tom Brady coming in here and saying, like, okay, we have a few running backs. I have these amazingly talented wide receiver and Corey Davis and, and, and company. Why wouldn't I want to come here? And on top of that, the, the the drama of Tom Brady going back to the AFC East and and the the Bills Bills Mafia would would put themselves through all the tables if Tom Brady came back with the Jets and like won that division. They they would they would they wouldn't know what to do with themselves. And I'm not saying this is like likely or or I'm not saying this is going to happen again. This is like a likely the most likely scenario that I see right now. The other scenario. And this might surprise some of you people out there. The other scenario, though, I think is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Like, at the end of the day, you got to go to a team that needs a quarterback. And the Steelers need a quarterback. That's the long shot. But those those are the, really the only two teams that I see Tom Brady even at. Uh, being able to go to because what other team like there's not really like that other perfect like uh, scenario anymore before it was Miami right Miami was courting Tom Brady when those those Tom Brady sweepstakes were going on but Miami's got Tua and Tua has been playing great this year he's got a good connection with Tyreek Hill they seem to have their quarterback of the future you look at a team like uh like we were talking about the Raiders I don't know what the Raiders future is and I'm not sure I mean the okay, now that I think about it, maybe the Raiders are a little more likely than than the Steelers. But even then, like, are they that talented of a team where Tom Brady would say, "Okay, I'm willing to bet the bank on this, and let's go, let's go for one more ride. This is how I want to end my career." I get Josh McDaniels there, and Tom Brady's had a lot of success with Josh McDaniels. 
But I at, at this point in their careers, right, in the regular season, I don't really see the, the big difference between having Derek Carr or Tom Brady on your team. This team has other issues they need to work out. Like, like the, the Raiders right now are giving up. Um, they're giving up a lot of points per game. Like, like they're they're one of the top teams as far as points uh, scored against their defense in the AFC. So they've got they've they've got some kinks to work out themselves, right? I I, I just don't see that. I mean, I come back to the Jets. I think that's the most likely scenario. And if we see Tom Brady in a Jets jersey. It would bring back the painful memories of one Brett Favre in a Jets jersey, but the even the even more painful memories of Brett Favre in a Vikings jersey for many uh, Green Bay Packers fans. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't know which one of those jerseys is gonna go in Canton. We'll find out though. Y'all let me know what you guys think though in the chat. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell.